The startup ecosystem in central Virginia has changed significantly. There's more space, there's more capital, there are founders that have had recent exits and are looking for their next venture. This is a great time to come here and start a company. There are a lot of resources and opportunities here, especially from a capital standpoint. I think we're in the earlier stages of creating these opportunities, but there are so many angel investors in this area, and I believe that the Virginia government has done an awesome job creating opportunities to support these investments. Charlottesville is different now than when I started here in 2004, 2005. There's more folks doing companies, starting companies. Uh, there's more folks, that, folks here that have built and exited businesses, built and failed businesses, which brings us to an ecosystem of more people to be able to help each other succeed. What I like about, um, I guess, the entrepreneurs here is if we can't pitch our own startups, we pitch our colleagues' startups when we run into investors or other people we know. Um, I think there's a bigger sense of community than competition here. This place has such a great entrepreneurial ecosystem and really fosters founders and really encourages that entrepreneurial growth. Having that community and the fact that the community is constantly growing and giving back to each other is critical. So I was really surprised how many startups there are, how many people there are, how many founders there are. It, it seemed like really quiet when I initially started out, but now that I'm so deep in the space, I've found that there's actually a lot of like-minded people. One of the things I've enjoyed the most about building a company in Central Virginia have been all of the organizations that exist to support our growth. Whether it is Seville Biohub or Cab Angels, all of these groups have individuals who have been actively looking for ways to support us and provide us with opportunities. Venture Central, they are always there, you know, helping, giving, you know, advice that we need, connecting us with different people and different resources. Some ones that really stand out to me are the Small Business Development Center for Central Virginia, the, the Charlottesville Business Innovation Council, and the Community Investment Collaborative. Codebase has been a great provider. Um, I've come down here occasionally to work, and I know a bunch of founders uh, work out of here. I know a number of people that work out of here, even that aren't founders. So. Charlottesville, in my humble opinion, is a great place to start a business because while we are a bigger city, we're also a small town, so it's really easy to get to people that can help you. It's very robust. Um, no matter what you want to do, there is one, two, or three people that have done it that can help. We picked the city of Charlottesville because the cost of living is, is low, the uh, access to talent is very high, and the, the city gives you everything you need from a culture perspective, but doesn't have the big city inconveniences like traffic. What keeps me in Charlottesville is many reasons. First, it's a great place to raise a family. It's a great place for building businesses in that it's got a tight network of folks that really want to help each other. It's connected to some of the most beautiful landscape on the planet. Um, I think the personal satisfaction aspect of living in a city like this is unmatched. And so when you're living a great life personally, um, you can see the fruition of that, or the, the fruits of the labor in, your, in the business side of things. People that live in this area have a very unique quality in that I don't have to convince my staff to help each other get the job done. That's deeply ingrained in the culture of the people in Central Virginia, and I can't recreate that anywhere else in the world. There is a lot more opportunity and availability of resources like angel money. I've seen a lot more folks here that have done well that are giving back to the community. So overall, I think we are still a hidden gem in starting businesses.